Hey there everyone, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndromes, and welcome to the Discovery Freelancers tutorial on turret steering and turret zooming. And, uh, wow, you've been asking for this video for quite a while now, and uh, up until recently, uh, all of my replies to such requests were very simple. Please go to the forum, go to the tutorial section, and read the tutorial there, because in my opinion, due to the way that this thing works, a written tutorial is going to always be much more better than a video one. But it was only up until now, when someone actually decided to PM me back regarding this question and told me there is none. That, uh, unless it has been worded somehow differently by the title, there is no such tutorial in the tutorial section, and it doesn't come up during the search, so here we are. Uh, that being said, this tutorial is mainly going to be a placeholder until someone much more knowledgeable uh, of turret steering, turret zooming uh, actually bothers to make a written tutorial on it, so I'm looking at you, Jay, Wesker, and MP, and um, with that in mind, let's go! Alright, so regarding the name turret steering, we actually need to clarify something. Turret steering, as we usually refer to it on the forums and in games, is actually two separate, completely different game mechanics. One is the actual turret steering, and the other one is turret zooming. Now, as for the latter, uh, turret zooming is very simple. When you enter a ship that is not a fighter or a small ship, and you press H to access your turret uh, view, you can hold down your control key and then use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out accordingly. Now, this, at first, doesn't really seem like a big deal, but due to how the game actually processes uh, the aiming and gunning mechanics, this is your sort of bread and butter when it actually comes to turret steering as a whole. This is what makes capital ships very dangerous for, for small ships if they get too close, and the reason of this I'm going to explain in a moment. First, I want you to forget any such words as optional or an advanced type of movement, because those are not the things describing turret steering. Turret steering for larger ships, anything that is larger than a fighter, is mandatory. You need to know this if you ever want to have any use out of that huge ship that you bought after grinding a week for those credits. So, um... One of the things is that when you install Discovery Freelancer, you don't actually get these uh, controls for turret steering and turret zooming by default, so you actually need to bind them. I will have my own binding file down in the video description, but uh, this is something I'm just gonna quickly go over just to show the case. Before we actually start, we are going to instantly map two very important keys uh, before we actually continue. One of them is Reverse Thrust. The Reverse Thrust is basically your, st uh, your ship standing, suddenly just stopping and reversing, obviously. And uh, it's not really that big of a deal when it comes to fighters, although we have many people who, who do this uh, sort of reverse boxing technique sort of thing. Uh, not something that I'm really, uh, you know, knowledgeable about because I don't re usually fly fighters. But uh, Reverse Thrust is very important when it comes to capital ships. So for now, bind it to the I key. I key. And uh, after you've done this, well, you can already see some of the secondaries that I have uh, done, but we are going to do this uh, step by step later. That is the first key. The second one is actually auto level. So what auto level does is that when there's no input to your ship, when you're not pressing any buttons or moving your mouse, your ship automatically levels out with a plane. Uh, when it comes to turret steering, I found this to be highly annoying, because uh, basically what happens is that the camera shifts and the ship does things that I'm not ex instructing it to do. This doesn't have to be a button that uh, you have, you know, somewhere along the line. So for me, it's actually on the numpad side of things, and um, for you, I, I suppose you can just pick whatever one you want, and that's it. And before we actually go through all the settings, let's quickly swap to real life for a moment. Alright, and now it's time for some shitty real life footage of my keyboard. 
So, as you will see in a moment, I'm going to show you how to actually use all of this in practice, but first of all, I need to quickly explain what exactly we're doing when we are setting up the actual controls for turret zoom and turret steering. Now, this is a full-size keyboard, this is the one I personally use, and uh, so, if you haven't changed anything about your overall um, control configuration, then you, you usually place your hand like this. You have tab for your afterburner, you have WASD for strafing, Z for Z and X for engine killing and uh, reverse, and you also have mines and nukes and uh, for, for, uh, mines and missiles and so on and so forth. So the whole idea in order to make turret steering very comfortable and uh, the switching between turret steering seamless, you need to take the position of your current hand, for example I have my pinky on, on a shift or shifty, whatever, uh, whatever this is uh, on tab and so forth. So we need to do this and we need to link like this. So it feels pretty much the same. So tab suddenly becomes U, you have a Z and X suddenly becomes N and M, and a W, A, S, D suddenly becomes O, K, L and whatever the fuck this is. So this is the turret string position that I personally use. The reason for this is, there is actually no particular reason why it can't be like this, or this, or this, because the point is having your hand in one simple position that you can just place and you can be comfortable within. Uh, but there is a thing called keyboard rollover. It means that at certain points when certain buttons are pressed, some other buttons will lock down. So what this means is that you are turret steering, for example, and you find yourself, say, you are tapping your U key, which is your afterburner, and you are making a well, for example, you're turning to the right, and you are pitching down. At some point, you suddenly want to make a sharp turn and pitch up, but, for some reason, it stops turning. This really, apparently, differs from keyboard to keyboard, and you will need to find which one is the case for you, but uh, this is how I do it. Now, when it comes to miscellaneous things like weapon grouping, uh, I have weapon groups to my 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 keys. Then I have 6, 7, and 8 as my fire weapon group for chain firing if I want to do it this way. And uh, since I'm using these keys for my turret steering, I have 9, 0, minus, plus as my weapon groups for turret steering. Also, unlike my fighter controls, I have mapped my reverse key. And as already said, this is one of the more uh, complex, uh, well, not complex, this is one of the more important buttons. I have my reverse uh, engine key to my eye, as I can just quickly switch between going forward and suddenly stopping and moving backwards. And I have miscellaneous things such as firing uh, certain weapon groups to my numpad keys, including the rollover key, which I have set to my minus four. Well, no, no, no particular reason, but I just like it there. So, yeah, back to the tutorial. Alright, uh, sorry for that potato cam moment. Uh, hopefully you get the point, because right now we're going to actually set up the controls before we actually go into the game and I show you the fundamentals of actually moving, actually. actually. So, let's start for the very beginning. Uh, increase, decrease well, uh, throttle is something that we don't really use. I use my mouse wheel and only if I need to stop the ship, because I usually uh, control my capital ships with uh, engine kill in mind, so I'm usually using the afterburner, which we already saw, I bound to my U key, and right next to it there is the reverse key, which I have set to I. When it comes to engine kill itself, uh, if we look at Z, which would be usually pressed by our pinky finger, I've relocated that as N. Again, you need to set the secondary options for, for all of these controls. Uh, now, when it comes to strafe left and strafe uh, right, I know a lot of people who actually do use uh, strafe keys during their turret steering. I never really flew heavy enough ships, like battleships, to actually make use of them, so that is something they, that I've personally left out. So hopefully, whoever makes that uh, proper tutorial on the forums, they're going to include that as well. Uh, the ones that we actually uh, need to worry about is uh, turn 
turn left is going to be the K key, because that is the A key on our uh, WASD setup. Uh, turn right is that colon whatever key, which I already mentioned. Pitch up uh, is our L key. When you press your L key, your nose is going to uh, go up. So if you if you prefer your traditional sort of air ca uh, aircraft controls that when you pull the joystick towards you the ship goes up, you want to bind it to L and pitch down. You want to bind to O. If you want to press uh, O to you know pitch up, then you swap these two. Now comes a uh, much bigger feat: uh, roll left and roll right. Okay. So the thing about rolling is that it is really applicable for very specific ships, uh, and uh, the reason for that is some ships have very specific turret placement, and they are optimal at certain angles. For example, I have the Liberty Assault Battlecruiser, which had three missiles, and the last heavy slot, because I cannot fire four of those, was set to a Razor, and that was on the bottom most uh, slot. Now the thing is, that thing could uh, fire in all, like, a 360 degree angle from its center, but it could not shoot upwards. So I often had to sort of roll my ship with my bottom facing something else in order to aim at something. So that was the only time I actually had any use from the roll left and roll, roll right keys. Uh, also, some, sometimes I use them just to check if my auto level is on or off. And uh, also, this is uh, really good for flat ships, such as the Outcast Destroyer, so you can sort of keep your flat uh, facing the enemy who is shooting you when you're doing this sort of uh, pitching up and pitching down to avoid their fire. We're gonna talk about that in a moment in detail. Anyway, uh, apart from that, it doesn't really seem we need to do something very different from here, I suppose. Um, again, don't forget to bind your auto level key. And apart from that, let's quickly check here. Uh, dun 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 dun. Dun. No, oh, this is what I said. I have my weapons groups uh, for my fighters. I use one, two, three, four, and when I use turret steering, uh, and my hand is on the other side of the keyboard, I use zero, minus, and you know, plus or equal sign. Right? That is basically it. And uh, I suppose that is that for the controls. Okay, let's actually go in game and do something. All right. So as you've probably figured out by now, turret steering allows you for controlling your ship while shooting things, and unlike PvP and fighters, not have to constantly be facing whatever that it is you're shooting. For the sake of this tutorial, I have hosted my own server and given this target for us. I am currently flying a Liberty Siege Cruiser with a anti-capital ship loadout. Before we enter this mock battle, let's quickly go over a small checklist that you will need to do before entering a battle. So, first of all, press the H key and enter turret mode and press space to unlock the camera to free mode. This will allow you to look around as you see fit. Then, press your auto roll disable key and make sure that it is actually disabled by using your roll keys. And if the ship remains at your chosen angle, it means that everything is working. Next up, zoom out a little bit so you have a better sense of surroundings. Now try to turn your ship to the left or to the right. The first thing you'll probably notice is that the camera, unless you're pointing off to the side of the screen, stays locked on to your ship. This is the first large thing that a new player to turret steering needs to get used to, and it took me at least a couple of weeks. Uh, try to see how much to the opposite side you need to aim your mouse so that the turning cancels out your camera movement. For example, try to select something some sort of solar and, cre and just keep your mouse cursor dead on its center while you perform some sort of movement, like moving forward, pitching up and down, turning left and right, maybe rotating as well. You will notice that it is not as simple, but the more you do it, the more natural it becomes. For example, for me, in order to make this video, I actually had to concentrate on this because I was doing it kind of, you know, naturally. So that is really all that is to say about the very basics of turret steering itself. As I already mentioned before, there are more things to it, such as knowing the best shooting arcs for any given ship that you're flying, as well as how exactly you move given the shape and size of the ship, 
But uh, for now, let's focus on what makes zooming so dangerous to the things you shoot. In order to demonstrate this, in front of us there is a light fighter, and we are going to be looking at it from first person in order to sort of exaggerate the effect. As you already know, the game gives you an aiming circle that not only predicts where you need to shoot in order to hit the selected ship at the time, but also sort of locks on your guns onto the target. This effect can easily be seen when your cursor turns into this spinning circle instead, thus uh, indicating that your guns are now ignoring the area in space that you're looking at, but rather are aiming at the exact distance of the ship that you're shooting. Now then, notice that the aiming indicator is moving off to whichever side the moving ship moves to, and uh, we are very close to the target, so it's actually taking a large enough portion of the screen. This means that the aiming reticle is going to be moving a lot from side to side where the ship is moving. However, if we now zoom out fully, the ship is not taking that much space on our screen anymore, and the game is now barely moving the indicator. This is the true power of turrets during and turret zooming. Unlike fighters, where you need good enough reflexes to always keep your aim on the target, and where avoiding targets and dodging ships are really hard to hit, the zooming allows you to use very little movements in order to always keep your aim on the target, and this spells instant damage to whatever ship is unfortunate enough to actually be caught within your gun range at the time. And, uh, really, that kind of covers it for the most part. I mean, it is kind of tempting to make this video 30 minutes long and explain in detail all the movements and shit, but quite frankly, what I've seen from other players and their videos, everyone kind of develops their own unique flight style when it comes to turret steering and turret zooming, and it really depends on what ships they fly, where they fly against what they fly, so it's really not that simple. Quite frankly, for me, I kind of uh, have those three bullet points ready. Uh, direction, uh, distance, and prediction. So, which basically means if it's a small ship that I'm shooting, that I need to make sure that I'm facing in a kind of way that I can predict where they go, so my distance to them is, is as short as possible, so my guns always hit. And uh, if I'm shooting something bigger than me, then obviously I need to keep my distance so they're not, you know, shooting me and I can hit my shots. And uh, that really covers the basics of turret steering and turret zooming. I mean, if this video helped you somehow, just give it a like. But uh, quite frankly, again, this is just a placeholder until someone more knowledgeable about the whole situation makes one on the forum. Anyway, this was Spazzy Dragon, AK Syndromes, and uh, for the end of the video, enjoy a side-by-side -side comparison of a fight between a snub and a freighter, one without using turret steering, turret zooming, and one using turret zooming and turret steering. Anyway, this was Spazzy Dragon, AK Syndromes, fly safe.
Whistling all night long, give me a beat like this. I'll taste the bass that's on my lips. Okay.